Today, I'm going to show you a module heat disinfection with a decalcification. Equipment needed are gloves, apron and goggles in case of any chemical splashes. Warning, the WRO water loop must be disconnected from the dialysis machine prior to any chemical cleaning program. This means the large black hose at the back of the dialysis machine needs to be disconnected. This process uses squeezable 100 milliliter bottles of Citrosterol for the decalcification. Most standard installations will use two bottles, but any WRO water loop greater than five meters will use three bottles. Again, this is the length of the large black hose that goes between the two machines. To start the cleaning program, press the menu button, which is at the top right of the keypad. Use the arrows to scroll down once to clean in and press the enter button, which is the green central button. Once in the cleaning menu, Arrow down again to start module, heat disinfection, and press and hold the enter button for three seconds. Then arrow down once, press enter to start decalcify. Arrow down once more, press enter to start decalcification. The WRO will do a T1 test, which is a self-test for several minutes, and once it's ready, will alarm and ask you to add the Citrosterol. Now you should add the required amount of Citrosterol to the fill port, two bottles are standard and three for any hose lengths above 5 meters. Put the fill port lid back on after adding the fluid, press enter to start decalcification. The WRO will now start the first of nine phases of the program. The total time of the program is displayed at the bottom of the display and is around 187 minutes long. This is not exact as the process can be slightly quicker or slightly longer depending on the inlet water flow, but it's a rough guide. As long as everything goes as it should, the machine will return to standby once it has finished the cleaning program. That completes this tutorial.